what's up guys my name is Danny aka thriftfish on the Poshmark app and on Instagram I'm an online fashion reseller which means I sell clothing um, either used or new on the Poshmark app I also sell on eBay Mercari and I send things to thread up Lux, which is their luxury consignment service um, if you didn't see a couple days ago I did film a video of what I was going to send into ThreadUp Lux, and they processed my items, and so I wanted to do a follow up on what they took and what they priced things at, what they didn't take, um, and what I'm doing with those items. Um, so, excuse me, I am going to be looking down at my laptop because I have everything recorded in notes down there, but thank you for being here. If you didn't see that video a couple days ago, I'll go ahead and link it so that you can see it. Here is what ThreadUp Lux took um, from what I sent to them. You only have to send one thing in that is on their luxury brand list. So they have some brands that they consider to be higher end and luxury, and those are the things that you can send in for your box to be applicable for their luxury service. So again, I'll get to it now. I sent in 13 things and they took 11 of those 13 items. They are sending two, well actually they've already sent two back to me and I'll let you know what I'm doing with those two things. Um, so the first thing that they did not take, and this particular item has been in a couple of different videos, uh, one from a haul and one from what I'm sending to thread up. So it was a purple leather satchel by the brand She and Low. And it did have some watermarks and scuffs on it. So I didn't really think they were gonna take it, but I thought I'd try it before listing it on Poshmark. Um, I have already listed it on Poshmark and eBay. Um, so that is up there right now. The second item that they did not take from me was a desigual or desigual or however you say it, printed maxi dress. Um, I am actually gonna try to resend this into them because I don't wanna list it on Poshmark yet. I don't think it had any flaws in it. If it did, I miss them, but sometimes they don't take things and you gotta try again. I have done that in the past and they've taken things the second time or the third time around when they didn't take them the first or second. So I'm going to resend that dress into Thread Up. And here is the rest of the things that they did take, um, which was 11 items. The first was a Target New With Tags Goodfellow hoodie, which I actually bought for my partner from a thrift store and it didn't fit him, so I did just send it in the thread up. I am not making a return on this item. That's all I'll say. Um, it did actually already sell on thread up, so I am making a dollar and eight cents total from that item. Um, but yeah, so I'm not seeing a return on that item. I kind of figured that I'm not mad or disappointed. The next item that they did take was a faux leather skirt dress from uh, Masook, and my earnings from that item, if it sells on ThreadUp, will be $14.46. I'm just going to tell you whether or not I'm seeing a return on the item. Um, I'm not going to say my exact cost of goods because, again, it differs for everybody in their regions and their business plans. So um, I am making a return, a small return on this item. Um, the next thing was a raincoat from a brand I was unfamiliar with. It's by Maline Berger, Burger, something like that. Um, I got it at the Goodwill outlet, the bins, um, and I didn't know enough about it to list it on Posh, so I decided to send it into ThreadUp because I had checked their payout system and it seemed like it might be a good place to send it. But my earnings on that item, if it sells on ThreadUp, will be $15.61, which if I got it at the outlet, um, that's a pretty good return. I'm okay with that. The next item was an Eskandar uh, knit cowl neck sweater, which you may have seen in a previous video. Um, this item, uh, I like sending Escondar to ThreadUp Lux. Uh, this item, if it sells on ThreadUp, will give me $185.50 um, if that sells at full price. And that is definitely worth the small investment that I paid for it. The next item was an asymmetrical wool rib sweater from St. John. Um, this, if it sells, actually it did already sell, so if it's not returned to ThreadUp, I will earn $54.15, which is a good return on that item. The next was an Alice and Olivia cashmere, like, turtleneck base layer type of shirt, sweater thing. If that sells on ThreadUp, I will earn $27.74, which is a good return. I got the item, I think, on clearance at Plato's Closet. The next item was a Max Mara silk skirt, which will give me an earnings of $34.66 if it sells on ThreadUp, and that is definitely worth the investment that I paid for it. 
next was another leather satchel. They did take this one. It is B. Mikowski, and my earnings will be $19.84, which is a small return, but still a return on what I invested into it. The next item was a sequin beaded dress by Tadashi Shoji. Uh, my earnings will be $23.82, and which is a fine return from what I spent on the dress. The second to last item was kind of a, a flop. Um, I'm going to lose money on this item. It was just a black tie neck dress. I didn't know the brand. I failed to do correct research. So um, uh, my earnings will be $5, which unfortunately will not pay for what I paid for the dress. But considering the total return on this uh, box, that's okay. I can take that hit. Lesson learned. The last item that Thread Up Lux did take was a Kenzo dress, and my return or my earnings for this dress, if it sells on Thread Up, will be $39.37, which is a good return for what I spent for the dress. In total, if everything sells for the current listed price on Thread Up, I will earn $421.33. Again, sometimes that doesn't always happen. They, not everything sells within a certain time period that they give it and you can choose to have it sent back to you um, or you might end up dropping the price to help it sell if it's been on there for a little while so I may not make this full potential of $421.33 but there is a chance that that will happen and that will almost quadruple what I invested uh, on these pieces so I am not mad about that. Um, that's the kind of thing I'm looking to do when I send a box to thread up, which I'm trying to do on a monthly basis. Um, so if you have any questions about this process or any of the items you saw in this video, go ahead and drop them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer those questions. If you liked this video, uh, go ahead and click the like button. And if you like this content and you think you want to go ahead and follow this channel, you can click subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. Or if you've liked any videos, if, even if for watching the videos, um, but I really appreciate it if you subscribe. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. I'm just happy to be here. That's it. That's all I have to say. Have a great day and I'll see you again real soon.